What's going on, Aries? We're checking the energy. Send you all over my this is the energy of the person that's around you, okay? What you need to know right now. This could also be your energy, okay? So let's see what's going on. Okay, so I have someone that's asking someone, can we still be friends? And for this card to come out first, this is telling me that someone hurt someone else. They may have walked away from someone um, and they feel like this person may not accept them back on a on a, a emotional level or a relationship level. So they're saying, you know what? I know that you may not want something with me on this level or the level that we previous had, previously had. Um, but can we still be friends? Can we still have a bond? Can we still have a connection in some way? I stalk you just to see you sometimes. Like I said, this is someone that's not around someone. And they feel like their presence, their love, or their energy is not going to be accepted or wanted in someone's life right now. Based on how they treated someone. No one makes me feel the way that you do, okay? Um, saying, you know, I want this connection by any means necessary because I recognize that you give me things that no other person has in my life. And I don't want to be without that, even if I have to take it on a friendship level, okay? If I let you back into my heart, I will treat you the same way, like an option. This is someone that is still moving lower vibrational. This is someone that's into 3D, materialistic items, materialistic people, materialistic things. They're not into um, some of the things that their person or the person that they're speaking to is into. However, they understand and identify a unique connection with the person. Because someone is still learning lessons, okay, they're not able to elevate at this time. They're choosing not to elevate at this time. And this is why they will treat someone the same way because they have not gotten or allowed themselves to be educated spiritually to be able to offer an ascended person, okay? They're not allowing themselves to ascend. So the only thing that they have to offer someone is someone that is still stuck in the lessons of life that they've been going through for quite some time. And what I'm feeling with this energy is that whoever it is I'm talking to has been stuck for a long time. And it's because they're not proving to the universe that they've indeed learned the lesson that has been put before them. Okay. Wet dreams remind me of you. So someone had a sexual connection. This could have been someone that had a sexual based fuckship, relationship, situationship type of situation with a person. Okay. And even though nothing progressed past that point, um, someone feels like that is the basis or one of the main connections that they have with a person. And because this connection is no longer in their life, they feel it strong. I feel like someone is touching themselves at the thought of another person. I feel like if someone is intimate with a person, they are going back to scenarios that they had with other people, maybe closing their eyes while they're fucking someone or accepting sexual pleasure by a person. But their mind is on someone else. And that's what it is, okay? So some of the signs that I'm feeling um, this could be in this energy is a fucus. So someone could be, you know, born between November 29th and December 17th, okay? That's for a fucus. For those that don't know, what else, Spirit? Give me two more cards, please. Okay, so someone could be a cancer or have cancer in their chart. One more card, please. Oh, okay. You gave me a few. <laughs> All right. 
maybe yeah because this person may be dealing with multiple people multiple personalities okay this is what's coming up okay so someone can have capricorn in their chart so we have a fucus we have cancer we have capricorn we have aquarius taurus and aries okay now this is Aries showing up in their own reading, or you could be dealing with an another Aries or someone that has Aries in their chart in some way, okay? So when you're looking at this, Aries, someone could have these elements in their chart. They don't have to be that sun sign, so just be mindful, okay? You can have these elements in your chart, and this would be clarification and identification of you in your reading, okay? What else does Aries need to know, Spirit? Someone's struggling with being vulnerable. They don't like feeling vulnerable. They don't like feeling um, like someone has the upper hand. They don't like to feel like they um, are exposed. I don't, um, I'm getting like, I don't want to feel like you got the one up on me. I always got to protect my energy, protect my heart. Someone here has been hurt a lot. So they feel like, you know, being vulnerable is not an option. And this is why they treat people like an option, because my mind went from this from this card to my eyes going over here, okay? So someone feels like they treat people like an option because they don't want to bring them too close, okay? Um, it's their way of putting up a boundary. So feeling fear and doing it anyway, opening up and sharing their weakness is what someone does not want to do, but they identify you as a soulmate, Okay, um, or this person is identified as a soulmate. Complete. Loves unconditionally, unselfishly, with no limitations. This is what this person ultimately wants. But because they struggle with vulnerability, they don't know how to get there. Okay, they want to be worthy. They want to do worthy things. Okay, feel like they've been honorable to a person. Again, this is a person that does not know how. Um, they see a person as being very worthy of honesty, love, attention, trust, and faithfulness. But they they don't know how to do that, okay? This person may be sending messages via music, lyrics. Pay attention to the songs um, that you receive or music on the radio, stuff of that nature. Um they feel like they love looking into your eyes. Somebody's eyes um, are big here, okay? Um, someone could possibly see right through to someone's soul. Um, loyalty is in someone's eyes as well, okay? But this person lacks mentality. They have, they have a lack mentality, okay? Constantly focusing on what you don't have, okay? Or what, what someone doesn't have, meaning... You may feel like this person over here has more to offer you than this person. But in reality, it's actually this person over here that has more to offer. You just haven't seen it because in this 3D materialistic world, you're not privy to that. You have to actually earn, be worthy of this person before you see their true worth. And someone here didn't work for that. Instead, they self-sabotaged themselves, okay? So they judged which gave away their power, right? Because they were focused on the negative of someone and they were saying this person is not good enough, okay? This person is not better than that person over there, okay? Um, and now this person is building walls around their heart and this caused them to build walls around their heart, um, which trapped a person out that possibly should could have been a, a soulmate situation. So now this person is planning, trying to figure out how to get back to this person what has to be done so that I can then present myself to this person okay um, I feel like somebody's trying to end a marriage right now so that they can offer marriage to someone else Spirit is telling me to look at the bottom of the deck ego okay somebody's still struggling with this they have a fear and an anxiety again of being vulnerable of presenting themselves to a person Right? They have limiting beliefs and they have toxic thinking patterns. Okay, And what's going to happen is as someone is thinking what they want with a person, spirit is going to block them out and block them away from whoever it is that's higher 
in vibration because they're not on the same wavelength. They're not on the same vibrational pattern. Okay, so if someone has th toxic thinking patterns and the person that they want or love is higher than them vibrationally, you're not going to be able to touch that person. You're not going to be able to have access to that person until you do the work within to get yourself on that vibrational level to where you then can be a counterpart to that person. Okay, Spirit is telling me to go one more down. Okay, confidence. Okay. This person has to have the confidence to do the work within, to stop second guessing themselves, to stop feeling like they're not worthy of something better in their life, to stop choosing lower vibrational people in their lives because this is what is common and this is what is normal to them. The, the people that I'm coming into um, their energy with, the, the, the people that I'm connecting with here, they're craving a change of some nature and they just can't grasp it. They don't understand what it is, but it's your soul reaching out for something else and something new and something that will elevate and ascend you. Okay. So I'm leaving it here. My loves, I'm sending you guys love and light. You guys take care.